My name's Simone and I've been fostering for six months. So having worked in SEN settings, I have close contact with both parents and children with a range of needs and the needs can be so significant that parents are sleep deprived, they have difficulties going out in you know, social settings because of the range of needs their child presents. So it's very important for them to have a chance to have a bit of respite care for their child so they know their child is safe and looked after in a good, you know, kind and caring environment and they can have an opportunity to just have a break. My background has always been working as supporting children and I've also supported family members through illnesses, um, including both my mother and my sister and having lost them both I did feel that I had a bit of void in my life and space and time in my life and I decided this was my opportunity to pr provide some care to a family in the local authority so that's why I've decided to um, start respite foster caring. So I initially was looking at trying to become a full-time foster carer but I wasn't ready to give up my full-time job as yet so the opportunity came up to become a short breaks foster carer which works more in line with my lifestyle and I wanted to give an opportunity to a child to have a safe, stable environment to have a break from home. It's great for me to see the change in the child that I have been supporting, the positive impact that I've had on their life. I've been able to teach them new skills um, and taught them to adapt to different environments. Um, and it's brought joy to my life as well. Um, it's been nice having that regular contact with a child, you know, at the weekends. So I feel it's been a really positive experience for me and I've really enjoyed providing a safe and stable environment for the child I've been supporting. Um, I've enjoyed seeing her progress and development, overcoming some of her very difficult needs and progressing in her general self-care skills and life skills. And I just feel the experience for both her and I building a new bond with an unfamiliar ado and for me an unfamiliar child has had a positive impact on both our lives. So after each visit I get a call from my supervising social worker just to check in and see how the visit went. I also have a network of foster carers locally who I speak to and we kind of share ideas and support one another and I have regular contact with my supporting social worker and the child's social worker and I can put questions to them um, and they can answer any questions that I have at any time.